Gannon lads, Marshall here and welcome yourselves back to another review on the channel. Today we actually got an objective from Friday. I want to say Friday, was it on Friday? Him and Thomas Amunia. It was like a dynamic duo. It's literally called a dynamic duo 2. Like, because there's the second one. The first one was like, um... Was it Smith, Ron, and Kenny? I think that actually, actually might have been the last one. But so uh, we've got Axel Vitzel today. We're going to review him right now. Seeing as we got no content at 6pm tonight, I thought, you know what, what can I do? Review a player I haven't reviewed yet. So I've played like nine games in total with Axel Vitzel. I actually wasn't even going to release a, uh, a video tonight. Uh, I didn't seem to either. Doctors sort this like headache, this head pain out. And uh, it's actually eased off right now, so I can actually make a video. So happy bloody days, boys. Hope you're having a great day today as well. All you guys sat at home, sat in a car. I just hope you sat down. Don't stand. It's it's bad for your legs. But guys, I hope you guys are doing well. All around the world. Hey, some people actually watch me in like Cambodia and stuff like that. It's actually mind-boggling when I do look at the stats of like where you guys watch from. So I do appreciate each and every single one of you that's come out to this review. And if you guys can smash a like on this review, that would mean the world to me. And uh, subscribe. Working on FIFA 22 stuff from tomorrow. In terms of like graphics and all that, getting ready for the release. I can't wait to kind of Focus on something new, something that's every single year, content creators all across uh, FIFA, they get this stage and then they think, yeah, what do I do now? You concentrate on 22, you start looking at the future and it gets you hyped up for the brand new game and hyped to release content to you guys. And that's what I'm looking for, uh, looking forward to basically the most right now. So guys, if you do want to subscribe for the 22 content, that would be sensational. I'm looking forward to getting that out to you guys. So Axel Vito. I'm giving you my opinions on the card today. I played nine games in total with him. He scored once, he assisted four times. And that is kind of um, in a dual kind of position. I used him as the midfielder that gets forward, that supports the attack. And I also used him as the midfielder that sits back and defends. And I think you would have seen that in the Curtis Jones review. In the other reviews, and when I've used him, I've used him as almost the attacking one. So I've used him in both roles. I can kind of see what he's good at, what he's bad at, and what I feel about the card. Just remember, these are personal feelings. These are my personal thoughts on the card. It might not be... Literally, the all or nothing in the card. This is literally my opinions. I uh, six foot one, medium medium work rates. Which again, he'll put some into attacking, he'll put some into defending, uh, but he's not going to put his all in. So position wise, he's going to be around that midfield area. I mean, you can you can definitely say that, but he's never going to be one of those that unless you trigger it, run behind maybe the wingers, the cam, the underlaps, the overlaps. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to be kind of doing his business in midfield, let's just say that. He's got four star skills, a four star weak foot, as you can see by his stats, he's uh, literally got in stats. What the chem star put on the card uh, was engine, and you might be thinking, why engine? He's got uh, decent defending stats, he's got great physical, his dribbling's already good in certain areas. That's why I used the engine, because you look at the game right now, I mean, if you want to use him as a further forwards kind of player, I think you actually need to use engine, because... Agility doesn't look that great. It's 88. I, I can't believe I'm saying doesn't look that great. But right now, the current cards that we're getting, they've all got like 99 agility, so it's very easy to turn uh, uh, with these lads on the pitch. And the thing is, he's six foot one. If you got below 90 agility, even like 88, for example, there's only two. That two makes all the difference. Ask your missus. Uh, he's got 85 of balance as well, plus 10 on that. Dribbling looks fantastic, like 99 from 94, 99 ball control, 97 reactions, and 99 composure. Shooting looks good. In certain areas, the shot power is the thing I kind of look out in the shooting category. It's 94, and that's what I'm gonna try and utilize. I'm not gonna go for too many finesses, even though I did attempt it. Because with these cards, with these reviews, I literally want to test everything I possibly can. His passing looks sensational, he's got acceleration, he's got sprint speed. It looks like one of those kind of complete midfielders. Club 90 as well, having a 92 pace, a 90 shooting, a 91 passing, a 95 dribble, 93 defending, and also 95 physical. The player traits, which you can see on your screen, solid player and leadership. That's about it. But that's what I'm going to do now is jump in the gameplay. I, I've spanned these gameplay out over like three days. So I, I think it's like Foot Champions gameplay. I had, had this already for like... When was it? Monday? But we start getting like different players coming out and stuff like that. So with no players coming out tonight, I can actually catch up, get this review out, and hopefully work if I don't get the headaches back tonight on Thomas Munier for tomorrow morning. But lads, I hope you do enjoy this. Let's jump in the gameplay. Let's see how we played. So here we go then, lads, into the gameplay. And I will say straight away, even though I played nine games in total with the cards, he doesn't get involved too much. He's one of those, and I think I said it in a recent review as well. If you guys can pinpoint, remember... Because I can't, my memory's shite. Uh, but uh, lads, honestly, I used a player in a re pre previous review 
And I said he's quietly goes about his business. It could be Marquinhos, actually. And uh, Axel Witzel, very similarly, goes quietly about his business in game. He wins the ball back when he needs to win the ball back. He passes it when uh, you see a pass, you want to make the pass. He's very accurate with his passes. And sometimes, you'll probably see here and stuff like that, you can do the one series, get him running forwards. He gets into those spaces, lads. He gets into those spaces, receives a pass here, goes in his stride. I think I'll go for the finesse here, lads. I do hit the crossbar slash post, and it is tapped in by Florenzi. So he can't contribute to the attack and defensive plays. It's just you need to kind of force him into those positions. Defensively, he's fantastic at times. He's got a good leg span. He's six foot one. He's a gigantic beast of a man. He's got good interceptions as well. You look at his defending stats. 94 interceptions, 93 defensive awareness. Stand tackle 91. If you couple that with the aggression strength of uh, 1997 respectively, you've got so much units on your hands. There's just, um, sometimes when I'm getting clips of these reviews, they are normally, well, they're all pretty much always, especially when midfielders and defenders, nearly every single touch they take in a game. Now, in terms of gameplay today, there isn't actually too much of it because... Like I said, he quietly goes about his business. You rarely notice him in game whatsoever. But due to his amazing positioning in that midfield, it kind of forces your opponent to look at him and think, yeah, I'm not going to go down that direction. I'm not going to try and take him on. I'm not going to do this, that, the other. And uh, they just go the different directions. You do see the one goal that Vitzel actually did score for me in those nine games. Almost a tapping. But hey, it was a good one-two inside the area. He gets the ball back. He puts it in the corner. Normally, they gravitate as well towards... Uh, the defender on the line. I'm kind of glad that didn't happen. In terms of his passing, you just seen it there. A gigantic pass down the line. And a lovely chip by Alan St. Maximum on that occasion. Now, his passing is sublime. The only thing that lacks from time to time is the curve. But as you can see there, it doesn't always matter. He's got 95 long pass with the engine. It goes to 99. 99 short pass. He's got great vision as well, being at 91. Uh, he ever starts like crossing, free kick accuracy. He's not going to use them. The only one he's going to use is curve. But, like... He's, he's not always going to utilize that curve. Uh, this one, actually, uh, I've included this clip, even though Jones does score it, because of the way Axel Witzel kind of motored up the pitch. And what you would have noticed was he carried it from the defensive positions all the way to the attacking positions. I love that about the cards. And speaking of his defensive abilities, gets involved there, wins the ball back, basically on the defensive line, intercepts that one, starts a counter-attack, and a sensational pass across the pitch that, again, starts literally another counter-attack. So, again... This guy's very... What, what's that word for the, like, the army where, where they're in line, where lines and stuff? Is it regiments? He's very regimented uh, in his positioning in game. And I do love that about the cards. And uh, he can definitely contribute. They actually scored Alan to Maximin after good work prior in the move to Axel Abita. So, lads, we got the overall rating of value for time. It's an objective, lads. Objective. I look at these dynamic duos because not only is it giving you a great player... It's giving you a great player as well to go alongside that because you get two players doing your objectives to get uh, Axel Witzel. Um, it's very easy. It's also very linkable in your squads because the main thing is, I do believe anyways that Enketia and Smith are all were a dynamic duo. Again, if I'm wrong, just correct me in the comments. I'm not always right on everything I see. Uh, I'm just human at the end of the day. That is literally what it is. But um. Yeah, and Kedia Smith Rowe, perfect link. Get him in any squads. Mooney, Axel Vitzel, perfect link. Get him in any squad. I just love things like that, where you can actually just get them in teams and just. It's ready made for your team. Two for the price of one, even though the price is your time. Dude, that could be a riddle in itself. So you can see the pros. We've actually been through them already. Uh, kind of it's like talking about it throughout the review. Uh, he's no rounder. He can play defensive, he can play attacking, he can play in between, uh, and he can do that all to a great kind of level, a great job. Uh, his shot power is tremendous at times. If you do get kind of stuck as to what kind of shot to take, just bloody bang it, lads. Uh, aggression, sensational. To win the ball back, he's got the interceptions unlocked. He's got the tackle unlock, unlock which you can see uh, as well amongst the pros. And his aggression and strength giving that kind of edge to be aggressive, to go in for 50-50s and come out of the ball. Bonus, lads, bonus. And his ball control is very good as well. Now, what I will see is statistically, you might look at Curtis Jones and think, hey, he's got many, many of the same stats that Axel Vitzel has. But you said he felt like he had a trampoline. No, I think that was last... Rutter had a trampoline touch. The thing is about Curtis Jones, lads, I did not like Curtis Jones in-game. Now, Axel Vitzel, he's got more of a presence. He feels better in-game. Whereas Curtis Jones, he just doesn't seem to have the stats in-game that he's perceived to have on this, like, attribute screen. 
I don't know why it didn't feel like it carried over for me. It just feel like he was uh, he's terrible in game. Now, there could be multiple factors. Myself, I could have played terrible that night. Like I said, I had headaches and stuff like that. Um, but still, at the same time, I was using Axel Vitzel and he was standing out. Um, another factor could be connection. Another factor could be the wind. The grass was wet, you know what I'm saying? Uh, who knows that, who knows? Uh, so the corner with Axel Vitzel, even though he does feel good on the ball, he's not as fluid as you could possibly imagine. Uh, uh, being like very like I've got the ball here. Oh, it's over here. You didn't see that happen. Lads, it's not gonna be like that He's not very fluid and what I mean by that is it could be a combination of his agility balance and height uh, Now I know fine well with the engine cam style boost all that to 92 plus I mean his agility goes to 93 uh, his balance goes to 95 Does not feel like that probably due to his height. He feels quite robust at times a bit I wouldn't say like a donkey. I think that would be a bit harsh but have you ever seen a horse kick a football? Have you? That's, that's a genuine question as well. You, you let a horse or an elephant kick a football, man. It's not in control. They just kick it. Sometimes when you're kind of dribbling with Axel Vitzel, it doesn't feel like it's in control of everything. Even though his first touch, we've got the ball control amongst the pros. Sensational. Sometimes it's like a donkey kicking a football. Uh, similar players, we've got Curtis Jones. He's in there as well. Uh, Alan. I think Alan's very much similar to uh, this Axel Vitzel, but for me, Alan is better defensively. And we've got Jorginho. If you're looking for kind of a direct match to an Axel Vitzel, it'll probably be a Jorginho from Chelsea. Uh, that was a Champions League showdown final, wasn't it? Where he got... No. Oh, do not see. Oh, that was too... Oh, dude, it was the Euro finals. Flashbacks, man. Lads, you're overall rating for... This man, Axel Vitzel, I'm sorry for kind of babbling on, but sometimes in the reviews, uh, I kind of go into my own heads and just like give you my entire thoughts on the player. So 9.4 is what he will get for the overall rating. I don't think he's amazing, but I think he's brilliant. Now you might be saying, what's the difference between amazing and brilliant? Nothing. But in my head, it's like, amazing, you can do everything. You can literally do everything. Axel Vitzel, he's good for the moments. But he's good for end game teams. It's just he's not an end end game player. If you look at the likes of it's all, can you? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes are better than Axel Vitzel, in my personal opinion. But uh, this this is great value. I mean, the value for time, 9.8 is what I'm going to give him. Again, sensational because not only do you get Axel Vitzel for doing the objectives, you get a money you're just thrown in there. It's like two for the price of one. Buy one, you get one free. I said you buy one you get one free. And you don't even have to buy with coins. It's literally your time. Uh, so 9.8 is what he's getting there. What I will say is, if you don't have time, maybe you're working, maybe you're doing like 12-hour shifts, don't stress yourself and get an Axel Vitzel. Don't work yourself to the bone. It's not worth that. It's literally a month till the brand new game comes out. You know what I'm saying? It, you don't need this card. That is basically what I'm trying to say there. You do not need this card. There's plenty of others. Like can potentially put in place Emre Can, Dortmund German, sensational player, still the foot birthday Emre Can. You can utilize him in certain aspects of his game. The enjoyment will be a 9.2. I did like what he had to offer. But um I would have wanted him to feel a little bit more fluid on the ball. That's that's only my um kind of negative about the card, to be honest. It, it's a brilliant card, it's just I want him to be more like not skillful, not anything like that. Just a little bit more quicker with his turns. Sometimes in midfield, especially with pressure on him. Pre what was it? Pressure on heavy touch. Pressure after possession loss. Constant bloody pressure. Lads, your midfielders need to be quick with their feet. Because if you've got one man coming on the right, one man coming on the left, and uh, they're going like this, they're in different directions, they're kind of pushing and through. And uh, if one comes on your right, you turn to your left, and then the one on your left is in your face. You need to turn back onto your, your right hand sides to get away from the two of them, like in a one left stick, a quick dribble. Whereas if you're not that quick at turning, you're gonna get caught out instantaneously. And with a midfielder, they're straight on your defense. And that is basically what I'm trying to say there. But uh, Lance, that is it for Axel Vitzel's review. Uh, like I say, sometimes I babble on in these reviews, just ignore me if you want to or anything like that. But uh, I just like talking. <laughs> it's not what it is at the end of the day, I just like talking. So I love the sound of my voice. I actually hate the sound of my voice. I listen to myself when I'm editing. I listen to literally as little as I can. A little, basically, the way I should show you how I edit sometimes. You know how I said in the intro, how is it Gannon? I stop on the H. Literally, I, ha, I cut it. That is it. Uh, I stop when I see the gap in the middle. And at the end, it's when I say goodbye. And that's what I'm going to do now, lads. Thank you very much for watching uh, this review on Axel Vitzel. I do know it's a few days after the objective came out. But there's no content tonight. 
Uh, I wasn't even going to upload today, so I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm feeling okay at this moment in time. Let's get a video up for you guys. So I hope you did enjoy it. Like if you did. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more from myself, especially going into FIFA 22. Uh, I am sorry for babbling on in this review, but hey, I haven't streamed today. I've got a lot of babbling to do. Thank you very much for watching, lads. Hope you had a great day. Hope you have a great night. Hope you have a great morning. I'll catch you all tomorrow.